Australia is seeking to align its priorities with Pacific nations to try and reassert its influence in the region. A foreign minister, Penny Wong, has held talks with her New Zealand counterpart, Nanaya Mahuta, in Wellington. Australia's new foreign minister, Penny Wong, has put climate change at the forefront as she arrives for talks in New Zealand. She says she's visiting the Pacific this week because she believes Australia must make up ground on the issue, a primary concern shared by South Pacific nations. Many countries in the region have been concerned about Australia's uh, previous position on climate. So part of why I wanted to engage really early was because I think we do have some ground to make up. Uh, uh, and we want to demonstrate we bring a commitment, a stronger and more ambitious commitments on climate. Uh, because we, we actually think it matters. The bigger elephant in the room, however, is the threat of China's growing influence in the region. The two foreign ministers underline the importance of consultation on new security measures as China seals deals with Pacific Island nations. They also discussed the need to work together to support Pacific partners facing a complex and growing array of challenges. We have both uh, recognised that the Pacific is a contested space and so by working together it will be important to ensure uh, that we work alongside the Pacific as they define their priorities but also the way in which we partner the Pacific on their biggest issues like climate change, like economic resilience are areas where we've identified there are opportunities for us to work together. After New Zealand, Australia's foreign minister will head to the Solomon Islands. She'll be the first cabinet minister from her country to visit since the Pacific nation signed a security pact with China in April.